Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build and push container app image to Azure Container Registry with using GitHub Actions. So here, say that you have a developer who is actually working on your application uh, and that would be a container app application and the source code is, is hosted on GitHub. Now you want to use GitHub Actions to wrap that source code as a container image and then push that image into the you know the azure container registry right so in that case the developer would be generally doing a pull push activity with the uh, the github as, you know github as a source code repository now we are going to use like github actions so how we can use the github actions workflow to wrap this uh, container app into a container image and push that image into the container registry right so in this case we are going to see how to wrap a example flask application into a container image and try to push that image into the container register right so so the definition of the container image will be created on the docker file right so now the aim here is we want to push that image to the container registry right so to authenticate the container registry that we have created on azure we're going to use registry username and password right and finally we're going to see that you know how does the github actions does actually build and tags the container image and finally pushes the image into the container registry okay so in total so this is a very gonna this is going to be a very quick demo here so we're gonna see like you know how does we're gonna use the docker file and we're gonna use the github actions and try to build the image dynamically of your application and push it into azure container registry all right so with that note let's go to the uh my vs code so this is my vs code where actually i have uh, cloned an example python flask container application in the sense here as you see in the in the screen so if i can explain the the, the source code here so we have the source code where you see the another you know, folders like azure project static a template and whatever the files that you see right so all or belongs to application source code whatever the file that you see underneath the dot github backward slash workflow then we have a azure build and dip you know deploy container app dot yaml file that is nothing but our you know core part of the demo where actually we have defined like you know how does the github action has to run the task to wrap this particular application into a container image and finally push that image into the container you know into the azure container registry okay so azure container registry is a service provided from the azure as a pass services which will help you to maintain your own private container images all right so for that sake before i walk you through this uh you know the you know work uh this container workflow uh, this github action workflow i'm going to take you to the my azure subscription so this is my azure subscription i have already created a container registry called cloud quick labs so if i go to the container registry called cloud quick cloud quick labs so we have a, a login server called cloud quick labs dot azure acr dot io so in this one you can go to the uh you know basically go to the access yeah if you go to the access key so here you're going to get the username and password basically so here you have the login server name and we have the you know the username and password so we're going to use this username and password and try to you know keep it as a secret on our github repository where we're going to run the github actions and try to build the image as well right all right so be, so this is the basically the prerequisite that you need to maintain on a azure so while doing that you need to also you know so now i will quickly walk you through how to write the github action workflow file so that it builds the image of your application and pushes that image into the container registry all right so here in our case we have given the name of our workflow called build and deploy container app but here i'm just doing a build container image yeah all right so here then we have an trigger option called on workflow dispatch which means that you know this workflow will be invoked only with the manual invocations and then we have a job basically so this is the job in the job i know so in the job we have the name of the job is called build but you can change it according to your name and then actually this job is running on ubuntu latest and other default configurations like you know the run run the you know the bash you know bash command and all yeah and then so we have a, a steps in the sense here generally you know building an image and pushing into the container registry is very very simple so it has only two tasks in general one is actually one is actually the you know the checkout if i can show you here in the two terms one is actually the checkout that is basically a very default one um so if i can do can do so basically you have an action dot checkout which actually downloads the uh, github repository or close the github repository and creates the local copy within the github actions machine or github runner machine and then once that is done it is actually using the we are actually using the azure docker hyphen login 
command which actually also supports the Azure um, ACR login and try to build and push the image dynamically. Yeah? So here my login server name is Azure, uh, basically cloudquicklabs.azureacr.io. So how did I get this uh, is from here as I showed, showed you the you know, back that is login server name. You can copy this, uh, this, this word. Yeah, and try to put it in front of here. Then you have the another two variable called uh, uh, username and password. So we're gonna use this username and password. So you don't need to you know, basically hard code it here. You can uh, try to store it on a GitHub action secrets and try to retrieve from there. And that is what I'm doing it here. So I have kept uh, two secrets in my GitHub actions, which I'm gonna show you in a couple of uh, second, you know, couple of uh, seconds after. Then we have uh, uh, you know the the registry username and password has been given here. So with this option, basically you are actually authenticating the ACR and logging into that. Since my you know ACR is publicly accessible, that's the reason I have given this way. For example, if your ACR is you know uh, is not publicly publicly accessible and accessible within a particular virtual network, then in that case you might need to run the GitHub Actions belongs to within that virtual network. Okay, this is for your information. And then basically after that we are running the another task called Run. Yeah, so within this, you know, basically we are actually running another task which is actually um, does the real job. That is nothing but it actually wraps your, you know, a Python Flask application into the uh, into the container image. As for the Docker file, I'm going to show you the Docker file, you know, here uh, after this. So here we are using Docker um, uh, build dot t, which means that you know it will try to find out a Docker file present in the current directory, and it tries to build the Docker image belongs to this particular registry. And this is the particular repository underneath the registry yeah and then finally we have a docker push which actually pushes the image to this uh, particular uh, container registry that is azure container registry and this is the repo you know this is my uh, repository name within that registry and here we are actually tagging that image with using the github.sha which is actually uh, in a grid that gets generated automatically with this references okay so which means that you know, every time you do a workflow release which actually creates an image and tries to tries to build a you know the a new image uh, tags basically yeah so that's all about the you know very simple workflow that you need to uh, do it here anyways the source code is been shared in my github repository and the github repository link is been shared in this video's description you can find it from there yeah so here i'm going to quickly show you that and how does this docker file you know shows us so here this is the docker file which actually defines that you know from which image we are building and which uh, you know the port we are exposing and from where you know what are the requirements and from where the the app has to be constructed like that okay so this file will be available in, in general what i mean to say is you know so that docker file has been executed here to construct the container app image and then we are actually pushing that image into a ecr okay so as per the diagram so this is what it works okay so we have a source code we have a github actions then we have a container history okay now in with using the github actions we are actually building the uh, container uh, you know app image and pushing into the azure registry as i explained earlier now let's go to the uh, uh, github action workflow so this is my github repository which i have i was showing you in a vs code basically so here if you go to the github actions okay and and we have a github actions which is looking something like this what you do is you know so this is where you can invoke it so before i invoke it let me take you back to the settings in the settings you need to keep the uh, secrets which is very important for the part of this right i go to the actions and underneath the actions and you know, i have created a uh, two secrets called registry dot uh, register underscore password register underscore username the value of these uh, secret names are being retrieved from here in the sense you have a username and you have a password okay so those values are being kept in here right so with that you know you are enabled so basically you will be uh, basically you are actually done to run this build and deploy container app workflow and that is what i'm doing you as part of this demo right now let's run this one i'm gonna show you the workflow so how does it looks it's very quick it's gonna take a 31 seconds or 30 seconds basically so currently it is running you see that you know the currently job is running as i said you know it is very quick basically you know so you have a setup running you have a checkout now currently it is does the run docker build in the sense it's actually running the uh, docker build in the sense it's building an image and trying to push it already in the sense it is telling that it, this image is already exist so here you go right so basically this image building happened very quickly okay since the image is uh, you know image remained as same as earlier so that's the reason it has done the job within a couple of seconds only Finally, the image is been pushed here. So if I go to the uh, container registry, go to the repository here. Now you should be able to see your repository name called my apps. Underneath the my apps, you know, we have the image with the name with the with the tag something like this. Okay. This is the tag, which is nothing but, you know, basically if I can tell you. So this is the tag, you know, we are actually uh, uh, tagging the image which is using a dynamic github.sha, which is getting generated 
for each workflow right and this is the details of your our container image so basically yeah all right so with that note i have shown you a very quick thing here that you know so basically how to uh, wrap your you know python flask application source code into a, a container image and push that container image into the uh, azure container registry as a private rep you know repository under the cloud to store your secure images of your application all right so with that note thank you very much for watching my videos a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video